Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a video on um, Jane Doe's and missing people, missing missing females and Jane Doe's in Lynn County, Oregon. And I'm not putting the ones in that are from this year, though. I have um, Nikki Diane Britton, and she's been missing since July 16th, 1969, from Albany, Oregon, which is in Lynn County. And you can pause this and read it. I'm just going to scroll down and try to make it not too long of a video. So there's the information for her. She was only 15 years old. It says she was last seen at home in July of 1969, so I don't know if they don't have an exact date or when they finally reported her missing. We have Rita Lorraine Jolly. She's been missing since 1973, and she was only 17 years old. We have... Virginia Erickson, and she was 32 years old, and she went missing in Sweet Home, Oregon, in October 21st, 1973. So, it says she attended church on a regular basis and also played piano for the church. Her children attended church without her, and according to her husband, they planned on going hunting. In the Sweet Home area, while the children attended church, according to the husband, Jenny changed her mind, and he dropped her off at a local store, and she's not been seen since. So, she was reported missing. She wasn't reported missing until several months later, but that investigation led to the arrest of her husband for crimes against the children. Wow. We have Rashonda Lee Pickle. She went missing in 1990 from Sweet Home, Lynn County, Oregon. She was 13 years old. Pickle was last seen at her stepfather's home at the Oregon Highway Department Maintenance Station. On July 10th, 1990, her mother was at work at the time of her disappearance. Her stepfather said he last saw her when he stopped by his home on a break from work. He found the girl lounging about in her pajamas and asked if she'd like to go with him to his job. She declined and was never seen again. Her current stepfather, it says, is currently serving a life sentence for the 1978 Christmas Eve slaying of Kay Turner. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce her first name. Uh, forgive me. Uh, Theta May Fixen. She's been missing since 1986. 34 years old. It doesn't really give much information on her. And you can pause and read that. Like I said, I'm just skimming through. We have Shauna Chavez. She went missing. 2001, it says date of last contact. Uh, she was known to hitchhike, and I don't know how long she was missing before they reported her missing. This one does have photos of her. We have um, unidentified female found in 1996 in Lynn County. And age 19 to 45 years old. Estimated years, so that it doesn't give any specifics really. A skull found in Lynn County. Another unidentified female in Lynn County. And I have done other various videos on individuals from Lane County. But I just wanted to try to put the ones in Lane County in one video. Um, this is an unidentified female in Lane County.
This one has images and I'll scroll down for the details. Five foot tall only. So found in the name is was created in 2010, found in 1976. This brown hair and browner. Did it say brown or hazel eyes, right? I think it did, yeah. Brown or hazel. Okay, five foot tall. 1966 to 76. Five foot tall. She was five foot one. And this one wasn't missing until two thousand one. Okay, so then we have this lady went missing in two thousand seventeen, sixty years old. Five foot four. Brown hair, blue eyes. This lady went missing in 2019 and she was five foot five. So they found the sliding door open, lights on, but were unable to locate her. Her husband has been charged with her murder. And then we have a Jane Doe found in 2020, which I would wonder if it wasn't the same person, right? 30 to 50 years old. Uh, can I estimate the height? 2018 to 2020. 110 to 140 pounds estimated. The remains of an adult female were discovered off a well-traveled dirt road in Lynn County. Brown, curly, relatively short, dark blonde, light brown, hazel eyes. Blue eyes. I would wonder if it was the same person. That would be the first person I would be checking. So... And those are the ones in Lane County, except I left the one out for this year that's missing. So, anyway, and I believe there was one who went missing from another county, and her belongings were found in Lane County. But I didn't see it when I went to look, and I didn't go through my videos looking for it, so... But it should be in one of my other videos. Anyway, uh, please feel free to leave comments. And don't forget to pray for their loved ones. And thank you for tuning in. Have a great day. Bye-bye.